Ooh, what is up you guys and welcome to another VPL League battle and this is the NU League actually. Uh, for you guys who have been following me on Twitter, i actually been running um, Valhalla Pokemon League for a few, four seasons now I believe. And uh, I wanted to try something different and I wanted to do that with the thing that got me recognized way back when with never use, or really just have a debatably tier and a league concept based on that tier alone. Basically, NU is so big now today, so it's actually worth doing something with and get a lot of other different Pokemon and sets uh, shed to light. And definitely with C moves in mind, a lot of Pokemon's got more variety, I guess. So I had the chance of doing something like this, and uh, I have a lot of good people who decided to join, so I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, we're going against the VMAR or the Miami, or Miami, 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 eh, Miami. In fair names. Uh, his team looks what I was to be expected, which is that we see a Mesprit, Feraligator, Tauros, Archaeops, Dudrio, a really, really strong team overall with Hiriyama. Uh, Hiriyama is probably the one Pokemon I was expecting the most because I have an Articuno on my team. Um, it means basically that I can't spam any kind of freeze drive as a team as long as Hiriyama is active, so I need something to tackle that Pokemon. And I think I have the options of doing so. We have a Scarfed, I mean, a Bandit, um, what do you call them? Ambipalm, yeah, the one with the hands. Uh, we have a Scarfed Embor, we have a bulky uh, Silvalli Dragon with a Tailwind, an Agility Set, uh, a Magnet item, if I remember correctly, uh, Vicavolt together with a Fly MC Hurricane Articuno with Tailwind Roost, it's pretty fat actually, and a Marowak, which has been dropped actually. Uh, for the greater good, I should say. Uh, Marowak is kind of hard to use, even though I really like it, but it has a thick club, clearly. Um, it actually can Oko a Mesprit if I get a free hit on it, and then during Tailwind, I should be able to do just so. So, with all this in mind, um, the lead here really was kind of tough for me. I was debating back and forth if uh, Articuno was overall the stronger here to consider what it could be leading with. But yeah, at the same time, you know, whatever he brings could hurt me very, very, very badly very early. So I expect Mesprit to be his lead Pokemon and uh, basically take the game from there. So with all this said, let's of course go into the match. So from the get-go, I decided to actually lead off with Ambipom. Basically, banded U-turn was well, thinking as we see Prophet Mew, the Mesprit, and yeah. Uh, I'm definitely gonna U-turn on this, and I'm expecting rocks, and I'm pretty much what I thought was. If rocks are coming, at least I get an honest chance of actually not get a force to switch into the stealth rocks themselves. So bringing in the Barbareski. Yeah, or Barbagaski. I have no idea. It's an um, ancient ice beast. I thought Articuno have got fit it on that as, uh, yeah, from this point, you know, there's really nothing I can do. Um, I force it out definitely naturally unless it has any power rock, basically. But I can go for free Tailwind, so... Um, I'm actually gonna do that, as he brings in the Hiriyama, super expected switch in. Now, unless this is an Assault Vest, Sea Hurricane will knock out this Pokemon, and I'm very aware of that. And I will natural out speed, and I'm actually, as I said before, I am bulky. Uh, I have basically close to max HP, pretty much very high defense, and just some small special attack. But as stated, and as long as it's an Assault Vest, I should be able to Oko. So we go for that supersonic sky track, you know, 200 base power of mmm, but it, it isn't enough mmm. However, um, he goes for a knockoff here actually over a heavy slam, which I was expecting, and he's gonna follow that up with a bullet punch. And as you guys can see, there is really nothing happening. Articuno is naturally just tremendously bulky, and Hiriyama will be knocked out very early on, and we, we are doing great. And plus, we have the Tailwind behind us. Anything comes in, it will hit super effectively. As he brings in his Reptile, which is the, well, Archaeops. And he actually scarfs. However, he missed the Stone Edge. I will retaliate with Freeze Try. And only when I push him wrong to defeat us, to also get him freezed. So that's kind of scary. As the Tailwind petered out, I will take this golden opportunity on my side to actually just do what I should do, which is going for a Tailwind and getting that active yet again, and actually I even go to be even a bit more ballsier than I should be, which is that I will roost in front of his face. No, I didn't. That would be... Why did I do that? I wanted to get that greedy. Okay, I didn't do that, you know, but definitely unfortunate for my opponent getting frozen, and we knock out a Reptar also, as now comes the Gatorade or Alligator, and due to Tailwind, we are faster, which also means that we can go directly for the Freeze Strike, and what do you know? 
They don't call in the ice legendary for nothing as we score a second freeze first try. And yeah, it's very, very clear that uh, the Hex God is in my favor and in the unfortunate Ice Legendary who is showing to be a tremendous threat. And, and I'm not going to deny that, you know, I am super lucky here as it's Hillwind Peter out. Red Bull comes in and um, yeah, we, we, we're not going to like, like, I have to sack Articuno. I have no switching to a Body Slam. I, I really don't. Without Garbodor, or I mean my Gore guys, who's a part of my team, without that, I really don't have a fair switching as I'm going to bring Gibrant. And uh, yeah, you know, Marowak and the knockoff, the stick of truth is here as he brings in the Prophet Mew. And we, we're going to see him go. Basically, that is smack. Smack the Moneymaker. No, but really, that's that's a dead misbreath. Defensive, what? I have no idea. As Dudra comes in, now this should be stated, from where I was looking at, there was no way this Pokemon was going to actually knock me out. However, he has to see me first, and see me first do that you get a Swole Stance boost to your attack stat at the same time as you do in the last move that went before you was knocked out, in this case Black Hole Eclipse. And uh, it actually shows to be enough to actually knock out Marowak, so that was kind of reason I decided to, well, not have Marowak anymore. Because that's that's an unfortunate way we get knocked out. I really, really want to knock out <laughs> knock him out there. As I can freely go to Hadar, my well, scarfed Embo, and you know, from here on out, you know, we are in the rap game. Flare Bliss will definitely knock out that Dudrio. There is no way it's taking that in his last Pokemon is Tauros. Tauros, however, can survive a Flare Blitz. That's that's something that's of course going to happen. But we will get some salt into the wound before we fall with that Tauros and that is actually that when we connect this Flare Blitz we will be in such an immense scorch that even the extreme touches of the flames of this Pokemon will actually take the burn on the Tauros so yeah and due to actually going for Earthquake over Body Slam he will not only get hurt by his life for but the burn itself will take him out nerfing of course the Tauros will get killed so yeah, that was a um, very straightforward match. I do believe I win this 3-0 or something like that. And it is a super unfair win to my side. Consider how this game went down. Though, to be honest here, I'm definitely feeling, you know, I clearly won this game unfairly. We don't really get to see, you know, what, what the VMARS set was all about. At the same time, we don't get to find out if my Vicar Vault and whatnot would actually be deemed supreme this game. We, as I said, we don't find it out that Archeops could have been a very, very threatening Pokemon towards the team completely. And I think missing Stone Edge and getting frozen in that process, yeah, really shitty actually, I, I won't deny that. And quite frankly, I think it's super unfair. Even though I like the game, I'm also going to be honest and say that there are very, very clear indications that Articuno just ripped apart the team for the very wrong reasons and um, for what it's worth VMAR, I'm sorry. Even even though I like to win, I you still will I wanna win by being skillful, not being lucky. I feel that's that's rougher. Um so with that said guys I really hope you enjoyed this game anyway, you know Articuno is a tremendous threat. Definitely don't sleep on it because it's clearly it's the frozen legendary so it clearly it does know how to freeze things. Uh so anyway guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care.